So welcome to our Botanical Essence Collection. So we have five fine fragrances. They are all Eau de Parfum, which means they've got between 15 and 20% of pure fragrance oil. And they're all over 89% naturally derived. That's really high for fragrance, which means they get really good longevity on the skin. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through each fragrance and some hints and tips along the way to sort of make them last longer in ways that you can layer them as well. So hopefully this will help you be able to decide if you're maybe choosing a new fragrance or if you haven't tried one of them before. So first up is number one. So this is a beautiful citrus. For me, this is summer in a bottle. It's that blast of sunshine when you need it the most. So when we're talking about citrus here, this is almost like a trip to the med. We've got really lovely citrusy top notes of mandarin and bergamot, a heart of rose, and then a really lovely fresh base of vetiver in there. Now when we talk about layering, if you've worn any of the other ones before, or you're going to sort of think about being able to create your own bespoke fragrance, it's a lovely one to be able to layer over these if you want to add a little bit of sunshine sparkle to any of the fragrances. The second one is Botanical Essence number nine. Now this is a Sheepra fragrance, which means it's a combination of woods and green. So if you imagine the forest after the rain, it's, it's I think perfectly describes this one. It's enchanting, it's captivating, it's one of those fragrances that you want to keep on smelling. So in here you've got black currant bud at the top, so you've got that really lovely sort of fresh fruity scent. But again, you've got a heart of rose, and you've got a really lovely base of patchouli in here. So you've got that really rounded sort of seductive fragrance. Now, next up is number 15. Now, this is actually our Fifi Award winner, which means it's actually, it's a bit, it's like winning an Oscar for a fragrance, basically. Now, this one is sort of the star of our show. And when we're talking about number 15, it's a bit like wearing a cashmere wrap. It's the fragrance that literally keeps on giving. So for me, this one is cocooning, it's comforting, but it's really sexy as well. When you're talking about the notes in here, you've got things like pink pepper, clove bud, bourbon vanilla, vetiver, rose. But you've then also got that little bit of citrus at the top, which just softens it and gives it that really lovely fragrance. And you know, that's one of Caroline's fragrances, which always reminds me of her. Next up, we've got number 20. Now, this is a sparkling rose garden in a bottle. It was to celebrate 20 years of Lizelle and it's really about bringing rose to the forefront. So actually all of our fragrances contain rose in the heart, but this is when it really comes to sort of the centre stage. Now, when we're talking about floral fragrances, both of our florals, this one and number 100, are modern. They are clean, they're fresh, they're not sort of heady and powdery. But within this one, for me, it's a bit like popping some pink champagne and having it out in the garden in the sunshine. You've got rose water in there, you've got a heart of rose, but again, you're topped with really soft citrusy top notes and a woody base in there as well. So it's a really lovely rose, but modern fragrance. And last but definitely not least is our classic floral fragrance. So this one is a bit like walking into a British florist shop and scooping up all of the flowers and just that sort of everlasting bouquet. Um, it was to celebrate 100 years of the Chelsea Flower Show. So it really is a floral celebration. So again, in here, you've got the really lovely sort of gardenia notes, but you've also got topped with your bergamot rose and then you've got gardenia and vanilla in there as well. Now, when we're talking about making them last a bit longer, fragrances will naturally last longer on hydrated skin. So applying a really lovely body lotion or body cream before you spritz your fragrance will help it last a bit longer as well. I'm gonna show you a quick layer because this is one of my favorites. So this is 15, so I'm gonna do a spritz of this one. One of the things with fragrances is that you never rub, you sort of, you traditionally see that that you spritz and rub, but it actually sort of breaks the um, structure of the fragrance. So you want to just let it dry naturally wherever you're going to spritz it. So I'm going to do that one and I'm going to pop number one on top. So adding my little bit of sunshine to number 15. And if you want to do anything, you can just sort of gently place your hand over to warm the two fragrances together. So then you get them working together. So I hope that's, ho hope that's helped you make a decision.